Man, like I did back then. Yeah, folks, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Just going to be a quick video to say Merry Christmas. I know by the time I get this uploaded, Christmas has already passed, but, you know, I just wanted everybody, hope everybody enjoyed their Christmas with their family. I was going to do a live stream, and I said, you know what? I just wait until after after Christmas Day. I didn't want to interrupt anybody from family time, spending time with your wife, your kids, you know, any of your loved ones. And on Christmas Day, basically all we did was just stay in the condo. Forrest G opened up his gifts. The ladies bought their gifts the day before. So we just kind of hung out low key. But today's the day after Christmas. I said, hey, let's roll out. We're going to the beach. Let Forrest G get on the beach, swim. Forrest G's got, got a friend. I think her name's Althea. And then one of her cousins come over. So they're out there playing in the water. But uh, little Althea speaks English so good. You know, it's just good for Forrest G to hear. They try to communicate with other babies that speak English. You know, here's me speaking English, watching movies and TV in English. Here's his mother speaking to Golub, to Janice. Then if she gets on the phone with her family, she's speaking Bisaya. So that the kid's here in three different languages. He don't know what, what language to speak. I said, hey, just saddle up. We're all going to the beach. So that's what we're doing, folks. We're just hanging out here at the beach today. Beautiful weather. I know it's freezing over in the States. I've talked to my, my mother and my father. I think it's like 22 degrees down in the south. My goodness, folks, the weather here, which it always is, like, you know, December, January, February in Southeast Asia, my guys, the best weather, there's no rain, just beautiful, clear blue skies, cool breeze, you know, between 75 and 80 degrees. Yesterday, I just took a walk down the beach, I mean, we, we mostly stayed home, but I did take a walk down the beach. Nothing but my bathing suit and a glass of wine. Just enjoyed soaking up them rays and sunshine. So I know you guys over there are braving ice and snow um, through this Christmas season. Hey folks, I like to have snow at Christmas like anybody else. But for like maybe a day, a couple days. Um, then I love coming back to this tropical weather, the beach, coconuts palm trees I mean we got people barbecuing now we're not barbecuing right now but I there's like three four there's barbecue grills everywhere and that barbecue is just wafting through my goodness it's smelling so delicious and what I'm thinking about is for the new year changing units where we have a uh, have another balcony Rolling over to that Wilcon Depot, picking up that grill, and just go back to cooking every night for the ladies. And my goodness, we need it because, look, Fatima is a sweet lady, but she can't cook. She can't cook. Her mama didn't teach her how to cook. Uh, just not one of her skills. Janice can cook some Filipino food, pretty good, a few dishes can't cook any foreign guy food the amount of time I've spent over here throughout the years I can eat Filipino food at this point one or two nights a week that's all I want to eat it okay reserve one night for pizza one night for some type of Mexican I don't have Mexican over here like I got at Tequila Reef over there and that leaves like three nights to cook with the, what the hell I want to cook with my flavor so I'm really missing having a balcony to be honest with you you know, I don't miss the penthouse suite as far as a whole because we're living over here in freedom and I mean they're I mean they're behind me over there. You got Force G running around, you know, uh, he's got friends over here I'm getting exercise, getting sunshine, fresh air. So I don't miss the penthouse suite. But I do miss having a balcony and being able to barbecue. So what we're gonna try to do is move to a unit with a balcony. 
I may break down, pick up that grill. And like everything else, you know, everything I buy is an anchor because I want to travel. I want to travel and displace and be bought from here to there. But like anything that I buy, too big to fit in a suitcase, we buy it, we use it, then we give it away to somebody who, you know, has a house. You know, like my buddy Jason or Francis or somebody like that local. That'll keep that piece of gear, you know, until it falls apart. So the old lady's like, oh my God, you can't. That's too much money for a grill, blah, blah, blah. And I said, honey, we'll use it for a couple months, you know, do our cooking shows, I'll cook some great food. It's like, then what are you gonna do that? I said, I'll probably give it to Jason. You know, she's like shocked. Um, folks, my Filipinas, they're not big into doing charity work. They're not big into giving stuff away. They're big into hoarding. Um, and a lot of my relatives, I come from the backwoods of Mississippi, you know. They were taught by their, their grandparents, you know, about the Great Depression. You never throw anything away. You never give anything away. You keep everything. That's the way my ladies are. They don't want to give nothing away. But I'm more in the mantra, you know, you, you buy a piece of gear, you use it, utilize it, get the good out of it, but then you pass it on. When, it, when you're either no longer using it or you're moving to where you can't take it with you, you give the shit away. Let somebody else take benefit from that, you know? So that's what I'm eyeing. I'm eyeing a place with a balcony, nice gas grill to do some more cooking shows, and just fire up a different cuisine than I've been eating. My belly is getting big, and I suspect it's because I've been eating, you know, too much pancit and stuff that Janice has been throwing down on the table. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I put this out in any other video. Oh, maybe I do have a clip of it. Christmas morning, we woke up, and the bed was shaking. And it, it was shaking side to side. And I got Janice on my left, old lady on the right. Force G's in between me and the old lady. The bed is shaking like this. And it was shaking long enough to wake me up and keep shaking, and then for me to get my wit and say, shit, it's an earthquake. So I like punch the ladies, you know, I'm like, hey, 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 it's an earthquake, you know, just pay attention, see what's gonna break down. Usually these tremors, folks, they last for five seconds, maybe 10, you know, 10 seconds max and they go away, it's just tremors. Because the epicenter was down, I think, near Batangas, which is south of Manila, you know, a good distance, what, uh, a couple hundred miles from us, maybe 150 miles, somewhere in there. But on Christmas day, we did, I did get woke up to an earthquake, but it was doing a pretty good shake on the bed, and it was a side-to-side -side shake. The first earthquake that I ever experienced, I guess it was the first one, yeah, it was in California. I was sitting on a balcony, like a second floor balcony, and it felt like the balcony was doing this, like I was on a diving board. I mean, it literally felt like I was bouncing on a diving board about to jump off into the water. And it was over the water where I was sitting. Uh, but it was an earthquake. And so that one felt like this. Like up and down because of that balcony. But on the bed this morning, it was a side to side shake. And folks, I've been through a lot of tremors between, uh, in all my travels, you know, between here, Afghanistan, California. Um, you know, it's just, a, it's just a little, what Kevin called it, a little rock and roll. But that's the only one we felt. I didn't feel any aftershocks or anything like that. Everything's cool. But what's funny about that too, the video the day before, I stopped by and I checked out that board, which was talking about tsunami, earthquake, and uh, landslide evacuation plan. I was just kind of joking. I was telling you guys my tsunami plan. Boom, less than like 12 hours, well, let's see, 12 hours later, and maybe 16 hours later, boom, there's an earthquake, you know. And you don't wanna you don't wanna downplay when shit happens, right? Because maybe there's a tremor and then maybe there's a huge ass quake and the building starts pancaking on your ass. So, you know, when I feel these these tremors, I do take action, at least get get my wit about me and about what I'm gonna do. So if anything gets better, I'm taking fucking action. So once I got my wit about me, you know, AK, action plan. The grab force G and roll. <laughs> and the, the ladies gotta fucking keep up. I mean that's 
That's the way it is. They've been briefed on their role in any type of action plan, whether it's an uh, earthquake or a tsunami. They just got to keep up and do what I do. <laughs> Little force cheese coming up here. Hey, buddy. Janice looking beautiful today in her little, uh, she's only wearing the bottoms of her bathing suit today, but that's okay. Go ahead, baby. Pra practice your vlogging skills. Ready? Here, you can see yourself. Go. I love <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I know I'm trying to do my face. Honey, come on, do your vlog, go. I'm trying to do my face. Wow, put it back, put it back, nah, no. Baby, just right there, just start I talking. I couldn't see my face. You, you can see your face? No, it's half in here. You have to hold it out like this. Oh. <laughs> Just up in there in the Baja Kubo chilling out. Of course, you got tired. He's over there taking a nap. Racks it out. But wiped him alone. Wants to talk to the camera a little bit. But I got the flip screen up where she can see herself, and she's so shy that she can't. She can't seem to start talking when she sees that screen. Look, baby. Just hold the camera. Hold the camera and let's see what you got. Rock I'm, it out, baby. I'm trying to my face. Come on. Well, first of all, put your leg down because you got the hoo-ha <laughs> hanging out. Just tell everybody how your Christmas was. I, 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 I'm trying to my face. Baby, this is going on YouTube. Start talking. I know I'm a slave driver. Let's go. <laughs> baby, just say, hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. That's on your titties. Okay, there you go. They look good. <laughs> Just say, welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome to my channel. <laughs> Get the thunder. <laughs> Folks, the thing about it, she's not, she's not used to looking at the uh, camera. You know, I guess, uh, I mean, like when I'm filming on the GoPro or that little DJI, she can't see herself. And if I'm filming her, behind this camera she can't see herself so she's not used to seeing herself when I'm videoing so now that I flip up the screen where she can hold it and see herself she can't she can't seem to pull it off she's too shy folks it's a beautiful day here on the Subic Bay it's the day after Christmas a little bit of wind starting to kick up out here but just take a look back this is a high Kubo we're hanging out in one well, most of the time we hang in a far one just so we're not bothering folks, you know. But every, everything is good though. Wi-Fi reaches out there. Now it doesn't have electric, so if I come out here and I spend all day working in my office, I have to pick one of the other Baha'i Kubos because I have to plug my laptop in or, or it'll go dead. I ordered the ladies a snack. Waiting on the food, folks, and I'm gonna show you the food I got for these ladies. And I think they're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Because I ordered nothing but foreign food, baby. Extra spicy. Are you excited about the extra spicy? The spicy nuts. You don't want to eat spicy? Why not? Did you see me that I eat a spicy? Baby, you'd eat anything. Uh, but not Take a look at this little dog right here. He was a hot dog, then he was a... He's a tired dog, now he's a sleepy dog. But Janice, Janice bought him that goat. It's like a little rubber, kind of blow up, bouncy goat. But we had this big argument over whether that was a goat or a cow or a bull. But I mean, if you look at the tail over there, it sticks straight up, that's clearly a goat. That's a red goat. Perfect for little Forrest G to prop his feet up on. And just sleep here. This little Baha Kubo, my friends. Got a ceiling fan, electric. Now, again, this one over here on the end, the electric don't work. So if you come here and you need electric, get one of the first two or the big one. 
Electric don't work in this far one over here. Check out this food we got coming in here. Oh my goodness, looks delicious. Yes, the kare kare. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you so much, brother. And folks, we got a little kare kare. Now this is like, well, this is absolutely delicious. I went with the beef, but you can get it pork or seafood or what have you. Now this is the uh, carbonara prawns. That looks absolutely delicious. They even brought these ladies some baga on. What y'all eating this morning? You said you couldn't eat. You got eggs and hot dog? Yep. Yes. All right. How's that? How's that egg for us, G? Who, who cooked the the egg, baby? Oh, so Fatima cooked this morning. Yeah. Honey, what is that in the egg? Can you describe? Okay. Well, just don't don't worry about making me a plate, ladies. Thank you very much. Don't, I'm don't not, worry. You do not eat that. I make you spaghetti. I'm not. You see the stress I'm under. Here. Okay, let me check it out. Okay, listen, that is the correct. I don't want no hot dogs, no soy sauce, no magic syrup. Nah, I know. I, I sliced this one. Okay, all right, that's good. So you're going to slice me up some pork? I know. <laughs> okay, well, if the babies, if the babies survive the... The, survive. The, uh, the, the burnt egg omelet that Fatima prepared, then they'll be able to eat some of my spaghetti. Where do we get these red hot dogs at? Outside. At the Sorry Sorry store? No. Oh yeah, it's Sorry Sorry.